Hello, I'm Dr. Christopher Rapuano, the Chief of the Cornea Service at Willesley Hospital in Philadelphia. I'm coming to you from the Wills Eye Alumni Society newsroom at Wills Eye. I wanted to talk today about a recent article in the Philadelphia Inquirer, uh, on the Philadelphia Inquirer online site, titled, LASIK Surgery Falling Out of Favor with Patients. And I was quite kind of interested, because several patients have asked me and several doctors have asked me you know, about this article and what the story is. Now, while they quote LASIK, I think they're probably also talking about PRK and LASIK. Just as background, LASIK and PRK are two of the most common refractive surgeries that are performed in the U.S. or around the world. Refractive surgery is surgery to change people's refractive error, their need for glasses or contacts, to reduce that need and often eliminate that need. One of the numbers they quote in the article is that in 2007, there were 1.5 million refractive surgery procedures performed in the, in the United States. And in 2015, just last year, it was down to less than half of that at 600,000 procedures. And they do go on to give a couple of potential explanations, the economy, that there are different generations, that perhaps baby boomers have different expectations than millennials. They also mention that sometimes complications may be scaring people and that there are numerous websites out there which are publicizing these bad results and maybe that's influencing the amount of people who are actually going to get the procedure. From my perspective, the economy is certainly a factor. Um, that was true. 10, 15 years ago when the economy um, had a downturn, and then when the economy got better, the numbers improved. And certainly when the economy had a downturn back in 2008 range, um, the numbers dropped dramatically. And I know my numbers are up over the past few years as the economy has improved. But there's another reason I think that they didn't talk about, which is you know, 10, 15 years ago there was pent up demand that had been accumulating over decades and decades, and there was a range of 20 or 30 years worth of patients that were good candidates for this and then they kind of all had the procedure done and that pent up demand is now gone and now we're just left with kind of a, ready, a reasonably steady stream of patients. Now I think that this millennial generation versus the baby boomer generation is, is quite an interesting idea and that I hadn't really thought about before. But many people say that the millennial generation just doesn't find glasses as negative. It doesn't have as bad a connotation as you know, people who, who are older than the millennial generation. You know, in fact, kind of the classic hipster glasses are something that we all hear about or have heard about over the years. So perhaps glasses aren't the real negative or evil thing that they were in the past. As far as complications go, it's very interesting. Uh, in 2008, I was the senior author on a paper looking at over, we published over 100 patients that I'd seen sent to me in consultation who were unhappy after their LASIK procedure. And that was over a three year period, 2004 to 2006. I'd seen, again, over these 100 patients, and we reported the results. And most of the patients had quite good results, but had some reason to be unhappy. Either they had dry eyes, that was one of the most um, common reasons for it, or maybe they were over 40 years old and had difficulty reading, which was worse than they expected. But even with those 100 patients, the results weren't that bad, although some were, so did, have, did have poor vision and were bad. But if I saw 100 patients who were unhappy after LASIK over those three years, it is rare for me to see a patient who's unhappy who gets referred in, who's unhappy after refractive surgery, whether it's my own refractive surgery or other doctors' refractive surgery. And why is that? Well, I think there have been significant improvements in the technology over the past 10, even 15 years regarding LASIK and PRK and refractive surgery in general. We have better ways to evaluate patients preoperatively to select out the best candidates for surgery. In the past, some candidates weren't great for surgery. They were more prone to complications. We didn't realize that. But over the years, we've figured out who are very good candidates, who are good candidates, and who aren't so good candidates for surgery. In addition, the lasers that we use, whether it's the eczema laser or the femtosecond laser, those are much better now than they were 10, 15, 20 years ago. So we're selecting 
better candidates for surgery, and the surgery is actually better surgery than it was. And again, it's very uncommon for me to see patients both with complications or without complications, but who are unhappy for whatever reason after surgery. So the bottom line is I still feel that refractive surgery is a very, very good option for certain patients and a great option for other patients and a not so good option for some patients too. It's amazing how uh, that some of my patients will tell me that this is a life-changing procedure that they've had. They, they can't imagine anything better. They'll tell me that's the best decision they made in their life or it's the best money they've ever spent. Not everybody, and certainly we turn away many patients who we don't think are great candidates, so we're avoiding those kind of negative ones, but I think we're much better at that now. I'd recommend, if you're interested in refractive surgery, to see the surgeon who's gonna be doing your surgery, have a complete evaluation by the surgeon, discuss the different options that are available, whether it's PRK surgery, which is a surface ablation surgery, versus a LASIK surgery, which is a flap surgery. There are pros and cons to each of those, and some patients might be better for one than another. And then decide whether it's right for you. Again, for some patients, it's a wonderful decision with life-changing events, and for other patients, they're just not good candidates and should avoid the surgery. Thank you very much. I'm Christopher Rapuano, the Chief of the Cornea Service at Wills Hospital, coming to you from the Wills Eye Alumni Society Newsroom at Wills Eye Hospital in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania.